Hi. In this video, you will learn how to select, add, update, and delete predefined coordinate systems in your MC1 solution. We use the DOSA solution here, but the process is the same for all applications with GNSS positioning, such as excavator, DOSA, grader, compaction, driller, and piler. It is critical to use the right coordinate system when working with GNSS positioning. If you are in doubt about which one to use, ask your foreman or surveyor. We start in the main run screen and observe that the entire screen is lit up red. Why is that? We press the icon info bar to check what is wrong. And we see that the coordinate system is not set. Let's fix that. We go to main menu, projects, and select the project we work on which in this case is Highway 66. Here we click on Models to access the Models Details dialog, where we click on the Coordinate Systems button. We press the plus icon. This brings us to the Add Coordinate System page, where we select Predefined. We click the Next icon and see the list of predefined coordinate systems. This panel is factory installed with Danish coordinate systems. We were told to use DKTM3, so we select that, press the flag icon, and the tick mark to complete the wizard. Now that we have set the coordinate system, we can press the X icon to return to the run screen and start working. If the panel does not have the right coordinate systems, we can add or change these using a USB stick. On the USB, we prepare the folder structure like this. In this country folder, we place all the coordinate system files for that country, and then perform a USB synchronization. The updated or additional coordinate systems are now available to be used in the exact same way as the factory installed coordinate systems. We can remove unneeded predefined coordinate systems from the panel using the MC1 maintenance menu. We must be logged in as site manager or installer to do this. We go to main menu, maintenance, system page. Click on the delete predefined coordinate system button and activate the delete function here. Then we click the delete button for the coordinate system we want to delete. In this case, we take this one. That coordinate system is now removed from the panel. Press the Delete button again to deactivate the Delete function. Press the tick mark to return to System page. Press X to return to Run screen. That's it. You have learned how to select, add, update and delete predefined coordinate systems in your MC1 solution. Thanks for watching.